So I be driving around sometimes, you know, just looking at what the world got to offer that humans like to get distracted in and shit. And I'm like, and sometimes I just be like, damn, <laughs> everything is literally just copied and pasted. Everything is just like a repeat of something else. Um, from the activities to the food to every fucking thing, the, the entertainment, the, all the shit that they got y'all distracted in, um, ways of getting money or ways of, of gaining security and shit like that. Um, all this shit, you know, because we like, now don't get me wrong, this world that we're in, you know, I'm not going to say it's the most mundane, repetitive shit because you do have like options, but you don't got a lot though <laughs> so i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say look y'all i don't give a fuck the matrix is boring we need to create a new world god damn it this shit is boring as fuck i don't give a I don't, look if you having fun with this shit you must be a, a smaller spirit who had, didn't really live that many human lifetimes or whatever or lifetimes period in general um human or not um yeah, I don't I don't see how anybody could be entertained with this shit for a whole lifetime to be fucking real with you. I don't I don't even care if you rich, like broke or rich. It don't matter if if you ain't helping to create or build a new world and all you're doing is just participating in the world that already is and you're just helping build the Masonic world but not a new world. And yeah, your spirit ain't shit and um you part of the problem low key. And yeah, this is just me being harsh right now. This is going to be a more harsh video. I don't give a fuck though. Some Virgo like, go ahead and critique the fuck out of this world because this shit is, is ridiculous. Like it's 2023 and there's a whole bunch of shit that I thought from a younger, from the younger version of me thought that, okay, maybe this would change by then or this would change by then. Nope. Same shit. If anything, it got fucking worse. It's, it's really weird like but anyway society is limited creating and spirituality is limitless so if you uh, if you find yourself struggling to you know enjoy what society has to offer you don't don't feel bad or anything like that or don't think something is wrong with you matter of fact you probably the most sane one because every big spirit eventually outgrows this limited ass shit. I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, it's impossible for me to just be a mundane ass human knowing everything I fucking know about this world. You feel me? That 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 would be like, um, what's that shit called? Omittance of some shit? Uh, there's like a, a term where you don't admit to something that, or you don't acknowledge something that is obviously there and you just want to ignore shit. Yeah, I can't do that. You know, big spirits can't do that. Um, what's that one meme with the dog in a burning house? And he's like, everything is fine. Uh, <laughs> that, that's pretty much how it is for big spirits. It's like, man, now to keep it real with y'all, since we know, since big spirits know his teamwork made the dream work. A lot of us low key kind of don't give a fuck though at the end of the day because hey humans this is what humans want you feel me this is what humans are still entertained by this is what humans still like um hey don't don't ask me how these motherfuckers could hit their saturn return and beyond and still be entertained by this shit but hey don't don't ask me that shit. i don't know i don't know how the fuck motherfuckers i ain't even hit my saturn return yet and i've been bored since fucking high school and they <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Let me, let me. That's a little too old. Since early twenties, I was having fun in high school, but but early twenties though. Once you, especially when you hit like like twenty five, and I'm twenty six right now. But but when you, nah, not even twenty five. I want to say like tw for me, it was twenty three. Yeah. Wait, was that twenty twenty? I don't know, but like around for me twenty three, is when I was like okay shit getting kind of boring like even more boring than it already was because i was already having a hard time struggling to enjoy this bullshit <laughs> but um yeah so society is limited creating and spirituality is limitless look y'all i'm gonna tell y'all the only thing that i still have fun and enjoy like 
all the fucking time no matter what and it actually gets more fun and fun over time is creating a spirituality that's it all this other human shit bro all this all this shit that was created for us that is that is like a it's like all right check it out it's like a video game you can play the fuck out of a video game you could play the fuck out of grand theft auto eventually though you're gonna get tired of playing that fucking video game Guess who's having more fun than the than the bots and NPCs playing the video games, aka the humans in society that are lost in society and enjoy it. Guess what's more fun than playing the video game? Creating video games. Did you know that? I, I guarantee you, Rockstar, the, the 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 people who created um the company that created Grand Theft Auto, I guarantee you, the motherfuckers have way more fun creating the games than y'all do playing it guaranteed i guarantee your favorite musician has way more fun creating your favorite music than you just consuming and listening to it i guarantee that your favorite athlete is having way more fun playing in the game in his own way and style compared to you just sitting there and watch i don't think y'all humans understand where i'm going with this you know you can only consume so much but anyway yeah Creating is, society is limited. Creating a spirituality is limitless. When all you do is consume shit as a spirit, you're not fulfilling your spirit when you produce. You feel me? Because um, everything is equilibrium and balance. You feel me? It's like mas masculine and feminine. Masculine pushing out, feminine in intaking or taking in. So <laughs> you as a spirit will never be fully fulfilled if all you do is constantly intake other people's productions or consume other people's productions intake other people's outputs you and you ain't you don't even know how it feels to output some shit or and if you and if you ever and when whenever you do try to create something for yourself you probably give up on it or don't fuck with it because it, you, you probably an impatient spirit that wants to gain shit out of out of creating and producing or you don't like the result because you ain't put in enough practice and work but that's just y'all weak ass spirits uh, real spirits go ahead and go all out and whatever the fuck it fuck it is that they think they're here to do you feel me or however whatever they whatever it is that they feel they are here to do or whatever the fuck you feel me limited gmo human experiences and accomplishments won't satisfy your spirit forever so yeah life is infinite growth and shit but you do know you as a spirit can grow beyond this world and what it tries to limit your spirit to. You do know that, right? You know, you know like, you know spirits can grow and, and gain a lot more fulfillment out of shit that has nothing to do with what y'all humans think is growth or, or accomplishments in this Masonic matrix. Yeah, so like, for example, a bot will, will sit here and tell you somebody lived a more fulfilled life with a lot more growth in it if they made a lot of money or got a lot of awards and shit that's already keep in mind all that shit is already preset for them to obtain it's not like they created those concepts it's not like they're the shadow government having fun just controlling and manipulating their world you feel me yeah you can go ahead and like see a bot thinks that's growth that you can't grow more than that they would tell you that that that's more growth than someone who chooses to live a more uh spiritual or a more creative life when in a more spiritual path you feel me this they'll a bot will tell you a bot will actually look at that person's material and see what, like the shit that surrounds them in the 3d and they will just base the growth and judge off like they'll judge and base the growth of that other person based around the things that surround them and shit you feel me so yeah that's just stupid you feel me like there's spirits out here that have way more growth and way more fulfillment internally than spirits out here who have everything physically. Matter of fact, some of the most spoiled spirits in the world are never fulfilled. Keep that in mind. And it's never enough for them. So yeah, just had to say, put that out there real quick. And look, you either a bot helping build the shadow government world or you are a powerful spirit helping to build a more limitless world. Because what the fuck are we here for? Like, like really think about it, y'all. What are you here for? Are you here to just motherfucking participate in shit that you know you tired of and jaded of? 
or are you gonna go ahead and do something about it you only you only got one life at the moment well you know you could live multiple lives you could come back if you want but at the end of the fucking day why waste time putting yourself in a and it's like you're putting yourself in hell at that point um um because the more distracted you are with bullshit of this world that has nothing to do with creating a limitless one the longer you keep yourself in a masonic hell until you decide to take your spirit and growth more serious we're not here to be robot clones um now a lot of spirits have no choice i guess apparently but to be like that because i don't know maybe they're just a, their awareness I don't know they're just the program is too deep and a lot of these motherfuckers don't have discernment so and they don't know what the fuck to do you feel me even if you woke and know about shit you still don't know how to manage and deal with your life accordingly so or or how to go about it in a way where you can at least play your part to attempt to change it and i say attempt because no, no individual is going to change this shit as y'all know teamwork make the dream work but hey at least impress spirit and show that you tried you feel me or what you want to put the man above spirit you want to put the the, the, the shadow government above spirit right yeah y'all humans ain't shit anyway um it's childish to participate in a world that obviously needs change you know that's just it's kind of it's actually irresponsible if you think about it um it's very it, it's like like i said earlier it's like knowing or being aware of a problem but you just being a lazy spirit or a childish spirit or an ancient ass spirit and choosing actively choosing to ignore the issue so if you are aware of certain things guess what you have no choice but to be used as a vessel or you can or no actually you do have a choice but the other option ain't, ain't, ain't in your best interest if you want to contract your spirit down to a fucking robot clone go ahead now i'm not saying that we can't get lost in la la land sometimes and, and you know you know i guess you know participate and, and and enjoy whatever the shadow government created that it that you know would be wouldn't i wouldn't mind going into sometimes you feel me like you know i'm not saying we can't live this human masonic gmo life a little bit i'm not saying we can't do that but what's the percentage level of it you feel me and are you actively building helping to build your own work like are you actively helping to build a new world as well you feel me because i don't really see that i i see nothing but copied and pasted i see everybody still got their priorities fucked up everybody's still focusing and talking about shit that is just outdated and irrelevant nowadays you feel me everybody's still dealing with certain frequency and vibrational demons that keep them in outdated energies um nobody wants to to, to do enough shadow work to self-reflect to the point where they realize damn this world ain't shit this world is fucked up this shit is boring what what are the what can i do as an individual to help you know change this little by little because you're not going to be able like i said you're not gonna be able to change it fully but you can at least add your little percentage level or portion of awareness into the shit. You feel me? You know, by this, look, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm at the point where it's like, damn, I'm looking at like subconscious community and Dolo the Pilot Man soul group. I'm looking at, the, at, 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 at a, a whole bunch of spirits like, okay, y'all have awareness. Y'all have knowledge. Why the fuck are y'all not doing what this man is doing by, by now? You feel me? what the fuck are y'all doing for real and yeah oh a lot of people be saying oh i'm on my path i'm on I'm, I'm doing what i gotta do to to um to get myself straight so in order for me so that way i can help others okay cool as long as you your intent is right and you have an end goal to helping build and create a new a new world because not everybody got to talk or spread knowledge and awareness and shit but I think a lot of spirits too get confused or or they get lost in the mix of i want to use spirituality to gain something for myself in the physical versus i want to use spirituality to help spirit expand the physical you feel me and that's some deep ass esoteric shit right there i think i'm gonna leave it like that peace